Father, could you tell us what happened last night? Well, we got out of the bus and they, someone threw a bottle or something, I don't know, but they started to throw tear gas bombs. They flooded the, the whole area with tear gas and threw them inside the house. The whole block was covered with tear gas and police shot their rifles off up in the air and made everyone scatter. And we were on 14th Street and then we noticed the house was on fire. <laughs> Started apparently from a from a tear gas bomb. Uh, apprentice was across the street, or he says it was a fire bomb. I don't know. They filled the house with tear gas. That's what started the fire. The policemen burned the place down. We are very concerned about the attitude and the conduct of the mayor of the city of Milwaukee. Everyone built him up as such a great hero when there was this little disturbance on Third Street because he called in the National Guard immediately and put the entire city under a curfew. Well, for heaven's sake, we have a right to exercise our constitutional God-given right of free speech. That means protest, demonstration, whenever we want. The attitude of uh, hate and bigotry that exists out there, you've certainly proven that. Well, we've proven that, but we still do not have fair housing laws. You see, this neighborhood you're in right now is a Kilbert Town 3 project. They're taking 1,000 black families out of this neighborhood and they're moving them out. Now they're supposed to be relocating but they aren't. But the black families that are moving out of this neighborhood have no place to go. There's discrimination even on the fringe areas. You see there's no place for black families to go. We don't have any fair housing law. We know what the attitude of the people is on the south side but we want a fair housing law. Now that's, a, that's, that's one of our rights also. Discrimination, the Archbishop came forth and said this, the Pope came forth and said this, can in no way be justified. There's moral implications in a fair housing law and that's what we're fighting with, that's what we're going to get. You see this house next door? The police nearly burned down her house last night. Now she just lost her son in Vietnam five months ago. That house is going to be torn down. She has no place to go. We had a Marine come here. The guy spent six months in Vietnam, you know. Goes on to fringe areas. Lady won't rent to her, him and his wife because of black people. Well, Father, has your marches to the south side accomplished anything so far for fair housing? We're going to get fair housing not only for the city of Milwaukee, but we're going to get it on a national scene. And it's going to be this consistent type of, of courageous protest that's going to bring about fair housing legislation. Frederick Douglass talked about this a hundred years ago. He said, no one ever got their rights given to them on a platter. You've got to fight for it. You've got to struggle for it. And that's what we're doing. We're protesting. And we're going to keep agitating. We're going to keep protesting until we get what is ours.